Coming up next on the Jeff Curley Show, we'll be talking to an innovative tech company. You might call them the Uber of commercial furniture installation. That's next. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Curley, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is the Jeff Crilly Show. Well, I am fascinated with tech solutions. It seems like every, every time you turn around, there's a new innovative company that is changing an industry. And to talk about that today, a man who is changing his industry, Ian Pendergrass, he is the Chief Growth Officer for Steady Install. Thank you for coming on the show. Thanks for having me, Jeff. Yeah. All right, so tell, tell us about Steady Install, and, and this is a relatively young company. It is, yeah. We, uh, we opened our doors uh, late in 2018. Um, we are a, a, a technology staffing platform uh, for the office furniture installation industry. Um, so we work with furniture dealers, installation companies, facilities management companies, um, essentially connecting them to the labor um, that allows them to flex up their labor force and scale their operations. We're going to put a, a chart up on the, on the screen uh, to, to illustrate this. Um, it, it's, it doesn't seem like something that most people even think about because uh, you know, they just assume that everything works smoothly, uh, you know, you, you call, uh, you know, a manufacturer, you call uh, an installer and it just happens. But you found a, a big problem, didn't you? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, again, working with these big furniture dealers, um, they have to flex up their labor force to be able to go tackle projects that they bring on. And, um, you know, they're not always steady throughout the year. They don't know exactly what projects they're going to have or how long they're going to go. Um, and if they bid on a project and they get that project, they then have to go back to the drawing board and figure out how do I get the labor to go and accomplish that project, uh, keep it on track, uh, finish it on time. Um, and so they had a couple options, right? They could either try to hire, 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 which is expensive, um, time consuming, or they could go to a, a subcontractor or a, a staffing company. Um, and oftentimes what would happen is if they go the alternate route and go to a staffing company or a subcontractor, um, they end up paying a lot of money um, for somebody that may not be that experienced. Um, and the big question is, uh, do they show up, period? And if they do show up, what experience do they really have, right? Um, you know, so our big thing is we want to make it easy to find quality and reliable installers to get the job done. We're going to put up another chart uh, to help explain how it works. How does it work? Yeah, so uh, you know we're a marketplace company, so there's there's two sides of the marketplace. On one side, we have uh, office furniture installers. So we recruit those installers. They sign up through our platform at steadyinstall.com, um, and then once they sign up, they tell us their experience. Uh, they attend a, an orientation through us, where we actually vet them for that experience. Um, we vet them for the right tools. Um, we also vet them for you know how how sociable were they? What was their personality like? How would they represent that company? Then on the flip side, um, once uh, once we've uh, once we've onboarded those installers, we have businesses uh, who create an account on our platform. Same through SteadyInstall.com. Uh, the account's totally free, uh, and once they have that account, they can put in requests and specify um, you know the type of office furniture that's being installed, what the dates are, how many installers do they need, what levels do they need. Right, we have four levels of installers, so. Um, they can cater the experience uh, of that installer to the job that they have going on. Um, and so they post the project, and then our platform pairs the two. And, and most people wouldn't realize that there's something of a shortage. Uh, it's, it's hard to get good installers. It is. Uh, it's very hard. Um, the industry is relatively niche, um, and, and there are not a ton of office furniture installers out there. Um, they certainly exist, but um, the industry, again, is, is pretty niche. So uh, what we really like to do is we like to find the great ones uh, every time we go into a new market, uh, find the really good ones, and it may take a little bit of time, uh, and then tap into their networks uh, because we know good people know good people, and good installers know good installers. Um, so referrals are a big part of our business. And you're working with some large national names, right? We are, um, yeah, some, some big companies, um, big furniture dealers, some of the biggest in the country. 
country. Uh, we work with, with Goodman's in Phoenix. Uh, they're, they're actually the largest office furniture um, uh, dealer in, uh, in Arizona. Mm -hmm. um, and we're actually in talks with a couple of big companies out here as well. That's, that's outstanding. What, um, why do you think it's so hard to find great installers? I mean, we're still in a pandemic. We're still uh, in a, in a uh, recession, technically. Why is it so hard? I just think the industry is just niche. Um, it's, it's, it's a very small industry. Um, you know, it's, it's rare to talk to somebody uh, where they go, hey, really, I really want to be an office furniture installer you know, at some point in my life. And you kind of fall into it, but there's also a lot of different manufacturers and different lines within those manufacturers. So um, you know, finding guys that are familiar with you know, Herman Miller and Steelcase and Knoll and Technion, um, it's hard. Uh, you, know, you can find guys that are familiar with one or two, but finding guys with a breadth of experience, it's very, fairly difficult. Um, you know, but, but with our platform, it allows us to quickly and efficiently onboard those guys, uh, vet them for their experience, um, and then put them in the right spots to be successful on those jobs. Tell us about COVID. Did that help or hurt you guys? Uh, you know, I think it, it's still, um, uh, we're still kind of in the process of figuring that out. But I think overall, um, uh, it's actually maybe benefited our business a little bit. Um, we, uh, we like volatility and it's certainly brought volatility into the industry. Uh, we have a lot of businesses that are downsizing um, and they need labor to help break down that furniture, um, move that furniture, um, and then obviously reconfigure at another location, maybe smaller, maybe just a different place. But we're seeing a lot of companies that as their leases are coming up uh, are deciding to move. Uh, and that volatility is a good thing for us because we're providing the labor to get that done. So even as corporate America shrinks because half of the workforce is working from home, they still have to move or downsize or do something with that equipment. Absolutely. Yep. Decommissioning, um, breaking down, moving that, uh, whether it's to another office or uh, somewhere, maybe they're selling it and getting rid of it. Somebody still needs to be there to break that down and move that office, for, office furniture around. Um, I want to talk uh, in the little time we have left. You had a company before this uh, that got you into the gig economy, and uh, th that company did very well uh, as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I was in the hospitality staffing business uh, before before um, Steady Install, and it taught me a lot about the industry. Um, you know, we we really had to figure out uh, from nothing how do we how do we recruit supply or how do we you know onboard professionals. Um, and uh, it taught me a lot. It was, it was an incredibly powerful experience, and um, obviously the hospitality industry has been shaken up a little bit as a result of COVID, um, and I actually managed to, to uh, get into this venture um, uh, slightly before COVID hit, uh, kind of at the beginning, mm -hmm. um, but it actually worked out well timing-wise, and uh, I'm just trying to take that experience that I had from my previous venture in hospitality and apply that to office furniture installation. Outstanding. Well, congratulations on your success. I mean, the uh, company's only three years old and you're just growing like a weed. It's, uh, it's amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're, we're excited to be here in Dallas, too. And, um, you know, again, we've already had some conversations with some big companies that we're very excited to continue the conversation with. Um, and the sky's the limit. So we're very excited. Outstanding. We're going to end with the website. Steadyinstall.com is the website in Prendergrass. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you, Jeff. Appreciate it. You bet. And that's it for now. We'll see you next time.